There is no such thing as architecture. There is the spirit architecture, but it has no presence whatsoever. What does have presence is a work of architecture. And at best, it must be considered as an offering to architecture itself, merely because of the wonder of its beginning. So, so when people talk about architecture being in one niche, and then urban planning being in another, and city planning being in a third, and environmental design being another one, what it is to me are purely markets, marketplace divisions. And I feel that it's very destructive if a man on his stationery says that he's all these things. In the marketplace, this would be very much regarded as a great advantage to a man who feels architecture as a spirit he cannot title himself this way because he would consider it pure dissipation of its original inspirations. An architect can build a house and build a city in the same breath if he only thinks about it as being a marvelous, expressive, inspired, expressive realm. Design is to put into being what realization form tells us. <clears throat> you can say form is also what is detected as the nature of something. And design strives to at that moment employ the laws of nature in putting it into being, to allow, to allow light to come into play. This resource of material to make, to put into presence, this the maker of presences. At that moment only do you put the measurable into what you are doing. Previous to that, everything is fundamentally or tightly unmeasurable. Design demands that one understands the order. No 